Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris and this is Restoration Rescue. So last week we came in and we were working on our hood with our hood brace, getting a lot of that squared away and getting this nose panel ready for installation. So what we need to do today is we are gonna be working on getting that front nose panel set up and put in the right spot. So we have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of welding to do today and grinding back. We have our front panel on this nose all set and ready to go. So let's hop right in and start getting this panel prepped and ready for installation. So as we can see, this panel has already dried with all of our rust reformer and looks pretty good. So there's really not much to do. Otherwise, we need to get the panel all set and ready to go in. Now, it does need some grinding. It will need some metal beading in it as if we put it up and on there, it doesn't really fit all that well. So if you could see in here, the nose panel just doesn't align right. So we are definitely gonna need to do some metal beading and just getting it right and set. So if I line it up over here, it is a little bit off in spots. So we're definitely gonna have to do some beading of this metal, get it lined up and just start to bend it into place. So right now, I don't know if you guys can see it all the way on the other side. Um, let's lift you up and let's show you on that other side. It is completely off by that much. So the panel is not perfect, but we absolutely, it was necessary to put that new panel in. This obviously can go in a little bit, but then it comes out right here. So there's a lot of spots where we need to do some work, get this panel set up where it needs to go. Uh, this is where that dent was, so maybe that's a little bit of our problem right here. Just might need to metal beat a lot to get it in the spots, but that's what we're going to be doing today. Drilling it out, um, some spot weld holes, welding some spots in, getting this thing where it needs to go and getting it put in. So we have put 67 holes in this panel to get it ready 
to go in where it needs to go. So what we're going to do now is we have everything set up. We're going to actually just start welding and getting this thing lined up. So like I said earlier, this thing is not perfect. It is not lined up. The crease in the center is definitely not big enough. So here is not going to line up perfectly over here in the corner, not so much. And it's just not that curved. So that whole side is not really lined up. So what we're going to do is as we go, I'm going to bend it, weld it, bend it, weld it so that it stays perfect and true to this panel. Now it might not be the panel. It might be the hood. This hood has, you know, 61 years of of on this earth uh in this form so it's not perfect you know it might have just you know curved or warped over time so we are going to start getting this thing in so i do need to um put some holes down in the bottom of this thing just to get a little divot so that when i'm welding it'll go in perfect and hold tight so we can get this thing set where it needs to go so let's start lining this baby up and start throwing down some welds. So this is coming around pretty nicely. So here in this corner, it was a little tough to get it where it needs to be. And we're going to have to work it in all the way down. Now, if we come out here, you can obviously see that we are way off. And that is mainly this panel because in the center, it's kind of flat and it should have quite a bit of curve like the old one did, but it really doesn't have that curve which kind of makes me nervous, but I think we're going to be okay as this panel has started to weld in perfectly around the gaps. As you see, we don't have anything right here, and that's because when we cut out that brace, we needed to cut it out. So we are going to get this thing back where it needs to go. We're going to keep metal beating it to where it is perfectly lined up because if you want to come down here, obviously it is not lined up very well right there. And obviously, that's horrible over there. But one cool thing we did find out is these are actually the correct size. So they fit in perfectly. Let me grab one of these. Now, this thing fits in quite nicely. So just a couple of screws, and that's perfect. So we are definitely moving along on the project. Just got to get this panel in. And continue working on this panel and the hood will almost be wrapped up and ready for primer so let's continue welding down this panel and getting it knocked into place
So this panel is really coming along and we're getting very close to the end. And that is where we run into an issue. Now, the issue here is, is that even if this thing lines up, as you can see, we're a little short. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut right down this line, maybe here because I have a drill hole here, but just extend it out so these match up. This, everything where it needs to go will be lined up. Because we're only about, I mean, if you wanna call that an inch, maybe a half inch, that we're off on this panel, but we're gonna continue getting this lined up. Maybe I can massage it in, I doubt it, because every time I look at it, it just has a huge gap. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue welding down this line. If I have to, I'm gonna cut this thing down right about here, get this thing spread out, get it welded up and make it look awesome. So we are getting closer to having this whole nose panel in. It has taken a lot of work to get it where it is because this metal has had to be massaged in, so to speak, to get it where it needs to go. We are getting really close, so let's continue welding down this panel and see what we need to do to fix this. All right, everybody, so we have now put this in. It is looking amazing. I am very pumped with how it actually came out, even though I did have to cut and splice in a new piece of metal. So otherwise, this looks amazing. We are definitely coming along on this hood. We don't have that much more left to do. Once we finish that cross brace in the front, then we can put it in, and then we can start getting this thing ready to be put on the truck. So it does need a lot of work still in the main um, brace part. But once that's done, that will get us really, really, really close. Right now, I'm ready to start putting a primer coat on this. I want to prime and kind of paint before I put the brace in and prime and paint that just to lock it in, just so that we don't build any rust behind it. Don't want anything uh, sneaking out ever again. Don't want to have to tear this truck back down in the 10 years and redo this whole project, which has taken almost three years already. But we have definitely run out of time this week. We'll see you guys next week when we continue working on the C10 project. Don't worry, the 454 is gonna be coming soon. So if you really like that, make sure you let us know and make sure you wanna uh, tell us that you want more of that. That truck, I think we're gonna do a little bit different style of video while we do that. I might do a little bit longer, maybe an hour type video rather than these 10, 15 minute videos every week. But again, we'll see you guys next Saturday. Make sure you guys are commenting, make sure you guys like the video, and more importantly, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, why haven't you? All right, guys, we'll see you guys next Saturday.